I'm going to show you how to resize a picture. I suggest you use this website here. Link will be below and I'll put the text across the bottom of the screen. It's totally free and they do not keep your picture. They keep it for 20 minutes at most. You go browse for the picture we want. In this case I'm going to use this one. So you select the picture, click open, the picture appears. Go to continue. From here you've got a whole variety of different options. You can crop it or you can rotate it. and you can flip it. This one's very useful if you've done a selfie. If we look at the numbers they're actually back to front because I flipped it. Let's flip it back. So once you've altered it, you've cropped it, you've done whatever, it's still the same size but it's now looking the way you want. You then scroll down. It then says by default 50% smaller. You don't want that. Click over here, go to custom size. In most forums 800 by 600 is a very good size for a picture. So this goes width so we'll select 600 for width and 800 for height. You've also then got a bunch of other options to make your picture look scorched, blurred, black and white, a whole bunch of other picture options. It's entirely up to you. The next thing you have, it comes up image format, JPEG. That's the one you want. You've got option of good, better or best, so we'll select best. We've already resized it, so it's like yes I'm done, thank you. Click on that. You've then got four more buttons here. This one here lets you buy them a coffee to say thank you for using the website. Nobody does. You can carry on editing it, or you can view the image, or as we need to do we can download it. If you don't download it as I said earlier and it says here please save your image it will automatically be deleted within 20 minutes but we won't be here that long. Save it. Notice the picture name is changed to RSZ this one. RSZ is short for resized so click OK it's downloaded. I'll go to the file where it is. I'll click on copy. Don't need that anymore. I'll go back to the desktop. I shall right click and I should go paste. See, there's the original one. And there's the one that we've just resized. If I now go back to the forum, which is here, I should go into the lounge. I should go new topic. This could be whatever it is, but I'm going to write the word test. Test picture. whatever text you have. Then you scroll down and over here it says attachments. Click on that and then it says add files. Click on that. Look for the picture you want. You 
don't want this one because this one is the original one it's too big we want this one the one that we the one that we have resized click on that and go open if you notice over here it's saying the size of it is 245 kilobytes that's way smaller than what it was originally it also says tick which means that the form software has accepted it I personally like to go place in line there it is if I click if I press the enter button there I'll, I'll drop it down a line or two that's almost done what I always suggest you do if you're doing anything rather than just text click on preview because that way you can then see what it is that you've done so if you need to change anything this is as other people will see your post there we go pictures the right way round which we knew there's my text now all I do when I'm happy scroll down past the preview and go submit there we are the picture is now live on the forum except I'm going to delete it because obviously this is just a test but it really is live but everyone else will be wondering what, what the hell there's a picture of a remote control there for so we'll delete that